Hi students, so let's do a problem about chicken. You need to buy some chicken for dinner tonight. You found an advertisement showing that the store across town has it on sale for $3.09 per pound. This is cheaper than your usual market that sells it for $3.39 per pound. Is it worth the extra drive? So let's assume that we are trying to save as much money as possible, okay? What specific problem are you trying to solve and what additional information would be helpful? Well, what we're trying to do in this problem is we're trying to minimize cost, right? We're trying to save money. So I would write down, I'm trying to minimize cost and I'm trying to save money. So the problem I'm trying to solve is a cost problem. Now, what additional information would be helpful? Well, what do we need to know? We need to know things like how far it is to the market, right? How far are the markets? And what else do we need to know? We need to know how much it would cost to make the trip, right? And involved in that is going to be the gas mileage that you get in the car, as well as how much a, do um, a gallon of gas is, right? So we have to have the cost of the gallons of gas. We need to know our miles per gallon in our car. We need to know the miles, so how far the markets are. Oh, and we also need to know how much chicken we want, right? So all of these things are important in solving this problem. So once you get a problem like this, you want to analyze it and say, what is it you're solving for? And then what information do you need to solve this problem? So let's gather that information. And suppose we're told that we need five pounds of chicken and that the store across town is eight and a half miles, but the neighborhood market is only 2.3 miles away. The gas mileage for our car is 25 miles per gallon, and gas right now is running at about $3.59 per gallon. Now we have all that information that we need, and we're ready to actually solve this problem. So, let's get started. First thing we have to do is we're going to talk about gathering the cost. And what is that cost made up of? Well, that cost is made up of the cost for the chicken and the cost of driving. All right, so now let's talk about each of those parts. We can break up that problem even, even farther. So we have that the cost of chicken is going to be the number of pounds of chicken that we use times the price per pound. That'll tell us the cost of chicken. Added to that, we have the number of gallons that we need to make the drive multiplied by the price per gallon. So this is our strategy, this is what we need to do. And we need to do it for both events, one for the neighborhood market and the other for the market across town. So let's get those two items set up for us. We'll start with the neighborhood market. At the neighborhood market, we have the following costs. The number of pounds of chicken, which is five pounds, and the cost per pound. And at the neighborhood market, chicken costs $3.39 per pound. Then we have the cost of the drive to consider. Hmm, I don't know how many gallons right now, so I'm just going to put number of gallons because I'm not sure right now yet what that's going to be. But I have the number of gallons and the price per gallon, which is $3.59. Perfect. So there's really only one thing I need to finish the cost, namely the number of gallons. So let's put a little thought bubble over here. So I'm going to do a little bit of thinking here for a second. How am I going to get the number of gallons that I need to drive a, to the neighborhood market? Well, what do I know? I know that my car travels at 25 miles per gallon. And that's important because that tells me how many miles I can travel on one gallon of gas. I also know how far the market is. It takes 2.3 miles to travel to the neighborhood market and 2.3 miles to travel back home again. That's a total of 4.6 miles. Oh, so it looks to me like I can set up a nice, simple little proportion, right? 
miles to gallons compared to miles to gallons. 25 miles is to one gallon as 4.6 miles is to X gallons. This will tell me how many gallons of gas I need to travel 4.6 miles. How do we solve proportions? Well, the quick way is we cross multiply and divide. So 25 times X is 25X, and one times 4.6 is 4.6. The last step is we divide, so we're gonna divide both sides of this equation by 25, and that's gonna tell us X, or our number of gallons. Using a calculator, we're actually gonna get probably an approximation. So 4.6 divided by 25, gives us actually the exact value of 0 0.184, 0 0.184, and this is representing X, which is our number of gallons. Oh, so just with a little bit of thinking, we've got the number of gallons it takes to complete our trip, 0 0.184. I'm going to replace my number of gallons then with the value 0 0.184. Okay, beautiful. Now let's actually calculate that cost. Cost is, pulling out our calculator, 5 times 3.39, which gives us 16.95. 16.95. $16.95 for the chicken. Added to it, 0 0.184 times $3.59. And that gives us a cost of 0 0.66. And rounded to the nearest cent would stop right there, 66 cents. The total cost then to travel to the neighborhood market and purchase five pounds of chicken is $17.61. Okay, so that's our first cost. Now we wanna compare that to the cost of traveling across town to the other market. To travel to the across town market, we have the following costs. First, we have the number of pounds of chicken, which remains at five pounds. But this time, the cost per pound is $3.09. We add to that the number of gallons of gas that we need, but Recall, we don't know how many gallons it's going to take to get across town, so we'll leave that blank right now. And the price per gallon of gas is $3.59. We'll do our little thought bubble and get a little calculation again. Let's calculate how many gallons we'll need to travel across town. So our gas mileage for our car remains the same. We get 25 miles for each gallon. We don't know how many gallons we need in this proportion, but we do know our mileage. To go across town, it takes eight and a half miles, and then to come back, it's also eight and a half miles. So that gives us a total trip of 17 miles. So that means we're taking 25 miles per gallon and comparing it to 17 miles per X gallons. We solve with a quick cross multiplication, so we multiply across and divide. So that's 25 times X equals one times 17 or just 17. We divide by 25 on both sides. And that gives us that X is 17 divided by 25, or 0 0.68 gallons. So we'll use 0 0.68 gallons to make this trip. 
Let's put that back in our problem. So instead of the number of gallons, we're actually going to replace that with 0 0.68 and now make our calculation. The cost to travel across town to the market is equal to 5 times 3.09, which is $15.45 plus 0 0.68 times $3.59, which gives us $2.44. Make sure you round to the nearest cent or hundredth. The total cost for that trip then to buy five pounds of chicken across town is $15.45 plus $2.44 for a whopping total of $17.89. It's very close to the other cost. But for this particular scenario, and for this particular trip, it looks like staying close to the neighborhood market actually in the long run will save us some cents, some money, and is the lower cost. We can thus answer the overall question, is it worth the extra drive? And no, it's not worth the extra drive. Why? Because the neighborhood market, the one that's closer, let me just write this down. So the neighborhood market, the one that's closer, was actually cheaper. It only cost us $17.61 compared to the far market across town, which gave us a cost of $17.89. Our overall strategy was we needed to calculate the total cost and incorporated with that was the cost of the chicken and the cost of travel. But that does bring up an idea or a second question. Namely, okay, so we only bought five pounds of chicken. So the price per pound didn't have that much of an effect as to saving us money. But if we had to buy a bulk amount of chicken, let's say 10 or 20 or even 30 pounds of chicken, well then maybe the price per pound does come into play and it actually is wiser to go to the far market to save cost. So the bonus question I have is, what is the minimum pounds of chicken you should buy to make a trip across town be worthwhile if you're intent on saving money? I'm gonna let you think about that Think about the strategy you would employ to figure out what would be the amount of pounds of chicken you would buy so that a drive across town would be worth it. See if you get the same answer that I do, which as I calculate it, that as long as you buy, as far as the number of pounds of chicken, more than 5.93 repeating decimal pounds, then it's worth the drive to go across town. See if you don't get the same thing I do. Good luck as you work this problem, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.